Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the five best lose conditions of Magic the Gathering. This includes cards that either state you lose the game if you don't pay a mana or can deal damage to you. Lots of very creative ways you can lose the game if you don't control the power level of these cards. Now these are my top five. Be sure to put down your top five in the comment section below. I look forward to looking at other amazingly fun cards. And let's begin with number five. This is a group of cards, mana barbs, anything that will deal you damage if you tap land or artifacts. There's tons of cards like this. One of the worst things that can happen is if you kill yourself using your own card, especially ED8s. These cards are effective, but at the same time, extremely dangerous. You can put them in decks, which make it one-sided. Not necessarily the strongest of all cards, but a fun card nonetheless, and definitely something that you have to be careful about because you can kill yourself with mana barbs and other cards like it. So a very generic type of card. Number four, we have the pack. So there are five packs and they don't cost anything to play. And with the exception of the slaughter pack, they are all at instant speed. So if you don't pay the cost the next turn, you lose the game. Some of these packs see a lot of uh, play in internal formats. Pack of Negation in particular is very strong. Summoning pack used to be very good in the Amulet Bloom deck. It's no longer being played as much. Very fun card. Uh, pack of Titan as well as Invention pack have recently spiked in price. Definitely a, you know, a core component of losing the game would be the packs, right? Next, we have this card, Nefarious Lich. Whenever you're quadruple black, you know it does something interesting. Enchantment, if you would be dealt damage, remove that many cards from your graveyard from the game instead. If you can't, you lose the game. When you gain life, you draw that many cards instead. Whenever it leaves play, you lose the game. So, lots of fun because life gain is extremely easy now. Definitely something with Necropotence uh, will make it quite easy. And at the end of the day, you go off and you draw a ton and ton of cards. And it's a lot of fun to play with and a lot of fun to play against because there's many ways to remove it from play uh, with an instant loss to your opponent. The second one is probably the most famous one. It is Fades, the Uncontouchable. Free quadruple black. Quadruple black is a symbol of bad things to come. Legendary creature, minion, whenever it enters the play, if you don't play from your hand, you lose the game. So you cannot reanimate it. If you do reanimate it and you don't have something like a stifle to prevent it from killing you, you lose the game. Whenever it deals combat damage to a creature, you destroy it. It can't be regenerated. And whenever it deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. Extremely strong if you can make it unblockable. Um, a very high priority target as soon as it comes out in ED8s and definitely a fun card which works both ways. Now my number one pick is a card that a lot of you have not seen before because it is an anti-card so I cheated a little bit. But you remove it if you are not playing anti. Uh, it costs six. You can pay zero and tap it so you can tap it right away. Sacrifice it, flip a coin, target opponent calls heads or tails while a coin is in the air. If the flip coin is in your favor, that opponent loses the game. Otherwise, you lose the game. Effects that um, prevent or redirect damage uh, used lots and lots of text. Essentially, it just says it is a coin flip. You literally flip a coin to see who wins the magic game. Pretty uh, interesting mechanic and definitely a fun one uh, if you have the card is extremely cheap because it is an anti card and not playable in most formats. But out of all the ways to lose a game, paying six, casting this, and losing the coin flip seems pretty bad to me. Seems very bad to me. Anyway, if I missed one of your favorite cards, uh, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.